Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And right now you can get this sweet scoop soldier sticker when you order over at cardkingdom.com. Just mention in your order notes that you want a scoop soldier sticker when you go to check out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pioneer Peak with me, yours truly, your host, Krim, also known as the Asian Avenger. This week I'm playing Rakdos Dragons. That's right. What is this? What is this, Cons of Tarkir release or Dragons of Tarkir release? No, no, no. Although it would look that way. This does look like a deck from Standard, <laughs> like probably five years ago. But the deck is pretty fun. Uh, there's a few red-black deck lists running around. Uh, so this is my take on it, uh, which really isn't too different. Uh, mostly, if anything, it's just the sideboard. Uh, the sideboard has a, a few new cards, but not really that many things from Theros. Uh, but the deck is a mid-range deck, and it's just all about jamming big beater, be big beating uh, dragons that fly over your opponent's stuff. Uh, pretty good against mono black. Can get there quick enough with the rabble rabbles, and just a solid. I don't know. It, it feels like it's a good matchup, especially when a, a good deck, especially when you stack Thunderbreak Regents, as it is hard to deal with these like dragons and whatnot because Fatal Push requires Revolt. Uh, Fatal Push doesn't touch Storm Breath Dragon, which means Blue White will have a problem with it because it'll have protection from White. Can't bounce it with Teferi. Can't do any of that. You gotta just kill it either A with Elspeth, a uh, six mana one, or a board wipe. So, uh, luckily with the hand disruption, we're able to kind of just make all of our control decks, or try to make our control decks stumble. And that's all we really need, because Coligan, the Storm's Fury, can just dash in there, making it so that it doesn't die to a board wipe, and then just keep on punching our opponent for a ton of damage. Uh, some of the, like, this is the main core of the deck. Well, not all of it. Uh, as you can see here, the first card is really the only new card I've enjoyed from Agonizing Remorse. I mean, it, from Theros, which is Agonizing Remorse. Uh, target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it or a graveyard, a card from their graveyard. Exile that card. I lose a life. Uh, I think right now with the way the meta is and where, at least the time when I'm filming this video and by the time it comes up, uh, blue, black inverter is everywhere. Um, so I want to be able to rip key parts of the deck, like the combo pieces. So either, like, most likely the Inverter, not the Oracle. Mostly the Inverter or Jace or something like that. Um, and of course, this is a, as weird as it sounds, like, this card is just really good right now. Not, not a lot of people have a bunch of, like, answers for it. Every, like, if everyone's playing Inverter, they're really relying on things like Drown in the Lock to blow it up or maybe Fatal Push. But... Uh, they have to trigger Revolt for that and fill your yard up enough. So hopefully we can Thought Seize our way to victory and then just win on the back of, like, Rabble Masters. Heaven forbid we ever stack multiple Rabble Masters. And, of course, uh, we have our big old Dargons, our Dragons. Four mana, four, four, flying. Whenever a Dragon you control becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, Thunder Break Regent deals three damage to that player. That's right. If I have multiple of these, that means your opponent's going to take, like, a bajillion damage to the face. And, of course, we've got Storm Breath, as I mentioned earlier. Five mana, flying, haste, protection from white. Uh, and can Monstrosity three for five and two red, which is if this creature isn't monstrous, put three 1-1 one -one counters on it, and it becomes monstrous. When Storm Breath Dragon becomes monstrous, it deals damage to each opponent equal to the number of cards in that player's hand. So, just an all-around house, uh, a great card that can eventually become a 7-7, seven -seven, and also burn our opponent for some more damage. Uh, other than that, it's just, like I said, a big dragon deck, and let's see how the deck does in a league. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Oh, no. All right, we're going to mulligan. Eh, well, it's something. I'll keep. What is the card to bottom here? The opponent has kept, or no, they're deciding if they're keeping. Um, Is it Thunderbreak Region? I mean, Thunderbreak Region is most likely the target we're trying to get rid of, right? Or put into our, our deck. Yep. All right, yeah, let's go to the bottom here. We're on the play, right? So... Go ahead, pass. We got Goblin, Rabble, Rabble Master, Rabble Master, Rabble, Rabble, Rabble. Um, yep, yep, yep. They keep all seven of their magical cards. I am concerned. Consider me concerned. Here comes Thoughtseize, probably. Yup. So, this is either Control or it's the Inverter. Inverter of Truths. Especially with, well, at least at the time of filming, that's the hotness, right? Everyone's playing that right now. Okay. Do what we draw a dragon. That's, I mean, great in most situations outside of, well, this one. But hopefully we can kill them before it becomes a problem. I hope they don't have sensor. I know they play some non-zero amount of sensors. All right, so if they have fatal push, we're in trouble. It looks like they do. 
from the way their their board is set up. And uh, okay, so we need to hit lands here. Two lands in a row would be pretty nice. I mean, I'm trying to think about what else we could be doing here. Oh, you know what I totally forgot to put in this deck? Glory bringer. All right, show me fatal push. No way. They I guess they don't have it. Either that or they they are flexing so hard because they're like, yeah, whatever. Or maybe they were trying to represent that they had it to scare me off. Yep. Oh, boy. All right, so this is not what I thought it was. Um, let me verify. I'm pretty sure this is just probably control. You don't see many of them playing omens. Did they do that because they needed a land? All right, so they might have a board wipe here. Like, what's the board wipe? Languish? I mean, if they're blue-black control, they're most likely playing languish. Yep. All right. So we'll put them down to six here. And then I'm going to pass. I don't want to play into the languish here. They've got to deal with the ch uh, Rabble Master on their own. Thassa's Oracle, huh? All right. So it is Inverter. Huh. Interesting. Okay. You got it. I mean, they've got to go, what, double with Oracles to make sure they don't die here? Unless they have Negate, of course. Oh, never mind. This might be better. Huh. That's interesting. So I have two options here. I can try to kill that. Get three goblins going. Combat. Actually, yeah, I don't think I have to do anything, right? Just go to combat, pump the team. Like, they do play Fatal Push. That much is so, right? Like, if I recall, I think they do. Hmm. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just commit to the Storm Breath Dragon here. All right, let's go ahead and stick to the Storm Breath Dragon. If they censor it, they censor it. All right, nice. And we got there. Woo! It's exactly what I want. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. All right. Duress. Duress. Agonizing remorse. Agonizing remorse. Foul tongue invocation, I guess. And mate. And then three mana Sarkon. So that's seven cards over. What don't we want? Wild slash, probably not great. Draconic roar at least can kill pretty much everything they play. Uh, yeah, that should be good enough. Let's try that. Because I want to be able to just... Well, it doesn't beat the 6-6, six, six, so maybe I could just drop Draconic Roar for another Foul Tongue Invocation. I'm not necessarily sure, like, how this plays out, to be completely honest. We're going to definitely mulligan this hand, believe it or not. I guess I'll keep this. All right. Opponent has kept their 7. All right. Go ahead and pass back to them. Hmm. So they're opting. That's fine. Uh... Probably get Thought Erasured. Oh, Thoth is Oracle. That's a good one. That's a good one. Puts the... Yep, yep, yep. Where X is the... Yada, yada, yada. All right, let's take a look. It's probably Inver... So this is definitely the Inverter deck, but I'm curious what they have in hand. Scarab God, Inverter of Truth, Thoth is Oracle, Cry of the Carnarium. So they're looking for lands. All right, here's to hoping that I just find something else to get... Uh, nab that from their hand with. Like... Maybe I can try to hit like something like a uh, another thought seize, an agonizing remorse, something along those lines. That'd probably be better. All right, so there's Thassa's Oracle number two. They're gonna do some scrying. They're looking for lands. Their, their devotion of four. There's choked estuary. Okay. All right, we're going to F6 this. Let's go ahead and... What, we're gonna, what are we looking to do here? We're looking to play Chandra. Have it resolve, obviously. Oh, boy. Here we go. So we need to draw Thought Seize. We know the two cards in their hand. No. I can't even cast it anyways, even if I wanted to. Scarab God's got to go, but I think they have the land that they need. Oh, boy. How do I get out of here? So they have a land. There's no way they don't. Do they have Inverter of Truth? Oh, it's tapped. Okay, that's good. Ooh. Let's see what I find. Thoughtseize? Agonizing Remorse? Either one? The Rabble Master. We know the cards in their hands. 
Huh. <sighs> okay. I guess we're just gonna minus and get a dragon out of this. Try to block Athasa's Oracle. Oh, actually, I realized if I would have just swung in, that would put him at 12. Turn after, I would have turned, the, and then I could have activated, put him down to 10, and then, yeah. I mean, is this even enough, actually? I don't think this is enough to do anything. I mean, I just don't cast anything and they die? Nice! GG's! Alright. Let's take a look here. Do I keep this? I have the Draconic Roar, but not much of anything else. Uh, I'm on the draw. Eh. They're probably on some form of inverter, aren't they? Uh, I'll, I'll try it though. If they aren't, maybe they're on mono black or something like that. I'll have something to answer. Alright, cool. So they are on mono black. Alright. Almost F6 through my turn there, but luckily I did not, because I'm a very smart human being. And, alright, perfect. Oops. And as I said, I'm a very smart human being. I immediately played the wrong land. Oh wait, no I didn't. I meant to do that, because I can't cast spells. Wow. Just the smartest person there ever was. Figured it out all by myself. Look at me go. Uh, let's see. What can I do here? What can I do here? I'll... I guess, like, what are the odds that they have something... Eh, let's wait. Let's see what they play. They probably have something better, right? Castle Lock Twain Tribal, you got it. They could try to, they could Fatal Push themselves here if they really want. Yup, that seems good. All right, get the red source out there. Unfortunate. Wait, what? Oh boy. Oops. We're gonna pretend we did all of that intentionally. Hehe. <laughs> Alright, cool. So they use their whole turn. Hopefully they don't have anything else, like a, a rankle. Well, yep, yep, they had it. They had it. Like a rankle. Alright, let's find out. Did we draw something else? We did not. Alright, let's take a look at their hand first. Murderous Rider dragged to the underworld. All of it's pretty miserable. Oh, boy. Alright. I'll go ahead and pass. I'll get him to use it. If I don't, they're just gonna sit on that and just, like, destroy us, right? They have another copy. Drag to the Underworld. Done. Dunzo. I probably should have played... I, did, I probably should have played the Mutavault. I would have gotten more damage in that way. I do not mind throwing away this. Ooh, nice, nice. Oh wait, I just realized who my opponent is. Nice! Double Mutavolt feels good. I could have given this dash, but the reason why I didn't is because I'm trying to make it so that they use that last murderous rider. Ah, oh, darn it. There we go. All right, let's see if they make us discard here. All right. We need to draw another Hasting Dragon. Comes a 2-2. Two, two. Oh boy. All right, I'll pass. So it looks like we're just gonna get hit by this Rankle for days. All right, they've got Bloodsoaked Champion online. They're gonna play that Murderous Rider. Makes sense. Cool. Each player discards a card. Oh, what if we draw a card? That'd be pretty cool. Interesting. I don't think I survive this. Oh wait, no I do. Hold on. I do. Whoops. Reveal a dragon from your hand. If you reveal it or control dragons, you cast this spell. Yeah, cool. Nice! And we got there. Woo! Close. Almost messed that up. Oh my god. Alright, so how do we want to sideboard here? I guess that's pretty good. Colligan's command, that is. Battletongue Invocation, not the greatest. Neither is Ritual of Soot, but it's something. Maybe Agonizing Remorse might be better. Like, Thoughtseize does not feel good in this matchup at all. 
I guess, like, it's good to remove our opponent's, like, bombs and stuff like that. Like, Agonizing Remorse and, like, a Thought Seize or two? Nah, I'll probably just... I'm better off just doing it how I have it here. And I'll... Uh, it's kind of rough. We don't have a lot here that we could play. We have Draconic Roar. Okay, we're hoping. I mean, we're on the draw. Let's try it. Like, we have two removal spells. If we draw a Black Source, we're online. We get Thought Seize. We still have something to do. We didn't. Oh, boy. Let's see how we do this. Let's see how we go. Let's see. Black Source, please. Ooh, that's not good for us. Oh, that's a red source. All right, well, we have lands. Um, let me see here. Let me see. Uh, do I just take this damage? That doesn't feel great. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show them. I'll show them what we're, we're working with here. Yup. Oh, Spawn of Mayhem. Never mind. That's a way better card. I mean, good news here is that if I draw another, another like a black source, finally, I can actually blow up their, uh, blow up their spawn of mayhem. Of course, that is heavily dependent on me actually having that. All right, cool, 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 cool. Just take like a hundred damage. It's fine. I love it. Nah, dude, it's cool. All right, that gives me two goblins. I swing in. That's six, eight, ten. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Wait a minute. I just realized something. There's an Urborg. Uh. You know what? Let's make him do it again. I totally forgot that there was an Urborg. Lol. Totally forgot that there was an Urborg. Just gonna ignore that. Don't worry. Dragging that to the underworld feels bad. Oh boy. And that hurts me. On a deep emotional level. GG's, GG's. Well, either way, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, that was solid, that was solid. Wait, did my Agonizing Remorse not go in? Oh no, I, di I didn't bring them all in. That's right. Foul Tongue Invocation again. We're on the play this time, so that feels pretty good. What do I get rid of here? This is a little bit tough. I guess like a Chandra is not ideal. Chandra does serve as a removal, though. Not bad, but I don't know how good removal is in this matchup. Oh, boy. I guess I'll keep that. We have a turn 2, a turn 3. A turn 2, turn 3. We have a turn 4 play in that if we draw a land. We are looking for something a little more aggressive. You know, it's a lot easier to notice these things when I'm playing them in paper. <laughs> they had an Urborg the whole time! Ah. Uh... Let's go ahead and stomp this now, so they don't get to Fatal Push it. And then we're going to go ahead and F6 to back to them. Cast Bone Crusher Giant. All right, and then now we we have another land, so that feels pretty good, right? Uh, we're looking to maybe draw, like, I'm actually just looking for one more land on top of that. If I have one more land, this would be perfect. All right, how do we go about this? All right, Swift. End on my murderous rider or on my uh bone crusher giant, you got it, boss. Alright, land again. Show me some lands, baby. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh. Let me look here. Crew one, huh? Huh. How do I go about this? I can't let that stay. That Harvester has got a body that is in the way of my plans. Alright. I'm going to just go ahead and get in there and swing for some damage. They can crew if they want to block. That's four damage in. Only thing I'm concerned about here is that they get to rankle me. All right. Yep, there's Rankle. Ah. Uh. All right. Each player sacks a creature. What are they sacrificing? 
Um, which one do I want to get rid of? I guess I'll get rid of that. That's not bad. Uh, I'm gonna do this so this way I get to animate and block. Alright, let's see how this goes now. If they make me sack something, I'll sack the Muta Vault. Oh boy. I kind of want them to connect, right? Yeah, I'll let them connect. Alright, hold on, I gotta put that on the stack, right? Alright, cool, and we got there. Woo! That was close! Ooh, got the die roll on this one, and... Alright, alright. Am I a greedy human being? Most certainly. Alright, <laughs> yes I am! Please don't punish me, deck. Please don't punish me, deck. I mean, we have the double, ra like, Rabble Master. We're gonna get to Rabble Rabble. Even if it's, I don't know, like, if it's a slow, like, you know, do-nothing deck, then we're gonna be able to get there relatively quick. And then, let's see. I mean, I kind of don't want to fetch to keep my land count high, but that's not realistic. All right, let's see what they play. All right, so it's blue-black. Probably inverter? I gotta set up for the future turns, I guess. All right, let's run it. Oh, boy. Come on, land number three. Uh, what do I want to do here? Inverter of Truth is pretty good. They can Fatal Push at a point. I think I'm going to get rid of the Thought Erasure. That card allows them to set up their next batch of turns. Hopefully we just draw land number three right now. Like, if we could draw land number three right now, that'd be perfect. Ah, uh, we didn't draw it. Alright, we stumbled. We might be dead because we stumbled. It's my fault. I kept a low... Like... I just needed a third land. Once I would have gotten to the third land, it would have been huge, right? That would have been big game. Well, let's do something. All right. Drown in the lock. Yup. That's fine. I mean, is this enough? We weren't able to get in on the damage. We're going to need them to blank here on a draw, like on an untapped land. Well, even if they did, like they would be exiling a chunk of their deck, right? Fetid pools. You got it. Oh, wow, that's so good right now. Dang it, they're gonna take my other Rabble Master. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, man, and we stumbled again. Brutal. So how do I get around a gigantic 6-6? Six -six? Well, they I guess they lose most of their deck if they do that. Do they have the friendly neighborhood Oracle? Unfortunate here. If they have another Drown in the Lock, they could kill. Right, so they do not. They must have Counterspells or something like that. Just gonna go ahead and play another one, uh, another Rebel Master. Let's probably get censored. Alright, so now it doesn't matter, I guess? They have to have a Board Wipe here? Do they have Languish? Nice, and we got there. Woo! Okay, four discard spells in. Um, do we need? Fatal Push, not great here. Neither is Wild Slash. Draconic Roar, probably not going to do a lot. At least that burns them. Not the worst thing. Um, I'm to think about this. Is there something else I could do? Like, maybe Foul Tongue Invocation? Yeah, Foul Tongue Invocation, why not? Everything else, just bin it. I mean, maybe I could have brought in the Sarkon. That would have been nice. Give me another 3-drop that isn't just the Rabble Master. Oh, I got a mulligan that. I mean, I guess I'll push that to the bottom. We're asking a lot here from our deck yet again with our sick mana base. Okay, 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 okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, um, I guess we'll also pass. All right. So they went and got a swamp. That means they've got Thought Erasure, Thought Seize, one of the two. Kind of like the idea of getting another red source here because we have a lot of double red things. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and get a mountain. Let's take a look at their hand. Uh, we have the one up for sensor. All right, cool. Legion's end. Deals with the token. Fatal push is a nuisance. 
Legion's End deals with all the goblin tokens, but doesn't actually deal with the Rabble Master itself. They're a few turns away from having anything happen here, though. I don't know, what's the... I guess it's Inverter, right? I mean... Okay, the 1-3 Scry sets up their next batch of turns. They could probably find something pretty quick. Fatal Push is a problem, but it's the only thing that they can cast currently. Yeah, whatever, I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of Fatal Push. I don't know, they have a chance of finding something to kill it. Legion's End doesn't hit Goblin Rabble Master. It hits the tokens, which I'm okay with. Did they draw a land? They did not. So did they draw Sensor? I mean, next turn I can go ahead and lead it off with a Duress plus Rabble Rabble. Which is very nice. Alright, there it is. You got it. So they're setting up for this upcoming turn, which will be a problem. Let's think here. Let's think here. What do we have to get rid of this turn? Can they die fast enough? All right, let's go ahead and get out there, deal some extra damage. All right, that's fine. So is this inverter time? If it's inverter time, we can probably just, okay, psych, that won't do anything. That's better for them. Legion's End, sure, take care of two of these. You got it. I think they're dead. Yep, GG's. That should be pretty good for us. It's exactly 12, and that's pretty, as easy peasy. Wow. Ooh, I got the die roll. Yep, 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 yep. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, uh, This one, however, exactly loaded to the brim with things to do. Not the fastest thing either, but you know what? I have my lands. I'll lead off with a, I don't know, a, a mountain? Sure. Probably might need more red sources. Pass to the opponent. Only thing that this hand's not really that good against is if they're uh, some kind of, uh, if they're the inverter combo, we gotta be faster. All right, I guess we'll pass to the opponent now. That's not like a, that wasn't a mana dork or anything useful. All right, see that, that however, does fall under things that I need to kill for things I need to kill for category things I need to kill for one thousand dollars that card as I imagine whatever you're doing with it I won't like there's a lot of things on an adventure right now Yorvo oh no not the Yorvs oh never mind I'm a master and now I go ahead and uh pass the turn oh uh, let's see all right they've casted the love struck beast that's gonna be a problem See if I find anything good to... Alright. Another land. What is... Uh, I guess like if I plus two mana, I can go ahead and get rid of that. 5-5? Five, five? I'm a little concerned, actually. I'm not going to attack. I'm not going to attack at all. I'm just going to add two red mana, play Colagon with that, and then I'll pass back to the opponent. This will allow me to hold up Draconic Roar. Cast uh, Black Source. Leave up mana here so I get to hold up Muta Vault. And now we can pass back to the opponent. Hopefully I don't have, like, Great Henge or something like that. Because Great Henge is going to be sad times for me. And I don't mind blocking with Colagon here. Oh, I get rid of all of that. I mean, what do they have? Blossoming Defense at best? If they do? Like, that's not that great, right? I mean, I can also just animate Mutavolt here. Double block with Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, but then Blossoming Defense makes that live. Like, I have to make sure no matter what I do, I deal at least 7 damage to it, right? To be safe. Unless they have multiples or Aspect of the Hydra, but Aspect of the Hydra is only plus 1. Oh boy. What are they playing? Sure. I just want to make sure that it dies. That's all. Like, in the event that they pump multiple times, this needs to die. That's all. Cool. Nullhide Ferox. That's another good one. Okay, what do I do now? If I add... Let me think here, let me think here. What can I do about that? That gets rid of the 1-1, one, one. that's pointless. I think it might be time to just let them... Like, block with the Bone Crusher Giant. So if they attack with all of that... How much damage is that? That's all at Chandra? Three, so that's five, six. They can add four. That's plus two. I have the chance to double block here. Keep them off of 
anything too crazy. Yeah, I'll just do that again. I'm just going to double block this. I got to make sure whatever goes on here, like, they don't have too much power to get a Galta on me. If they get a Galta, then that's bad times for me. And then uh, next turn, I can probably just go ahead and play... Sure. Get the flyer out of the way. That card's gone. All right, that's fine. Ah. Oh. Okay, so they have no more cards in hand. I can probably just attack here, right? You think it enters the attacks. Another target attacking creature gets plus X plus X, where X is its power. Yeah, I'm gonna just swing in. Let's start. Let's get get the damage going. All right, let's trade. So now we can get rid of something else. If we wanted to, that is. And so next turn, they are pretty much dead. I don't know how we lose here. If we draw a land, we win. I mean, yeah, we've, we've got double dragon going on. Maybe that was a little bit unorthodox, like the double blocks, but they just had too many big bodies and I couldn't allow a Galta, right? But now I don't care if Galta happens. Yeah. All right, nice. Ritual of Soot. Self-inflicted wound. Farika's thing. Foul Tongue Invocation. We actually have a lot against them. Fulligan's Command can probably go out. Wild Slash can go out. The Rabble Man, not so great in this matchup as it just gets stonewalled by literally everything our opponent does. Um, Chandra picks off a decent amount of things. Fatal Push picks off early Mana Dorks. I think Draconic Roar only has a few targets. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. Currently, we are 3-0, and o, I believe. So that means we just need to get one more. Just gonna get, if we win this one, then we go 4-0. and o, Then we can get the trophy, ideally. I'll keep this. This is beautiful. I guess we'll push that dragon to the bottom. Now, I am concerned about what, how much, like, fighting they'll have. Stuff like that. That's gonna be a concern. Oh, that's a really good card against us. They'll draw a card from this. How do I get rid of that? Oh, well, actually, we do have Farika's Libation, so that's not so bad either. Farika's Libation, or Liberation, I don't remember, that thing. Oh, oh we drew another one of those big dragons, that's not great. Look into potentially, like, if they tap out here, that's kind of good for, uh, good news for us, right? I mean, I don't want them to draw into something better. Eh, whatever. No point in taking the one, right? I mean, I gotta get rid of this somehow. And I have enough sack effects where if they're just relying on playing one big creature at a time, that's not the greatest. Although, that human token is a problem. Alright, sure. They've drawn a card. Yup, that's a good one. I'm gonna pass. I don't think there's a reason for me to do anything this turn. That's four, that costs five. Let's see what they play here. All right, so they have to sack a creature. That's good news for us. They don't draw a card from that, so that feels even better. We gain four life from it. Please don't have another one drop. Please don't have a one drop. Please don't have a one drop. Please don't have a one drop. They do. I've got to draw a land and then go double self-inflicted wound. Not ideal. And we need to draw a ritual of sets fairly soon or else we're in trouble. So we need lands, like, ideally two lands into a Ritual of Soot would be perfect. Or a, or a dragon. <laughs> or a dragon, I mean, that's the same thing, right? Pretty much. Alright, come on, deck. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something good here. Just leave them with a bunch of lands. I'm happy with that. Alright, so they've casted the Lovestruck Beast. I'm in serious need of, like... Lands. Oh boy. Come on, give me a land. Please deck, please deck. Oh my god. Another dragon. Alright, any moment now, I will draw that threat, or that land, and then you will be threatened. But until then, your turn. <laughs> Lol, having lands in 2020. Imagine that. Having lands. Look at me go. Aha, what I tell you I draw a land at some point. A little bit late, but you know, better late, uh, better late than never, I guess. Then if I can get another dragon going, we can start the damage train. 
Hopefully they just have lands. Please just have lands. Oh man, they don't have lands. I'm gonna just go for this. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and punch in. If they make them fight in some way, shape, or form, they take six damage. And then next turn, I think we have lethal, so we'll just setting setting this up for our next turn lethal. Now I know I could technically play Culligan, dash that in, or Storm Breath Dragon, but Thunderbreak Regent makes it so that if they target anything, they also take up like six damage. No blocks. You could like I'd be really sad if you go like aspect of the Hydra, aspect of the Hydra, aspect of the Hydra, or something like that. Okay. Please don't. Please don't. Are they dead? Are they dead? Oh yeah, they're dead. Woo! Yeah, get in there, dragons! Dragon! Some good old 21 to the face! Ooh, got the die roll, alright. Good start. You know what's not a good start, though? Four lands and two... F uh, oh, boy. You know what? I get to cast anything I play. I'll keep. Anything I draw, mine, for the taking. Uh, it'll feel bad if they thought sees me, right? But otherwise, I save some health, pass back to them. Please don't have anything. Oh man, it's the inverter. They're gonna thought seize me. Oh, uh, let me see. Yeah, let's go ahead and set up that the next set a uh, couple of turns after, right? We're gonna go ahead and try to. They're opting. Sure, let's shock them, stomp them in the face. They censor this potentially. They did not. All right. So can we get there with the the rabble rabbles? That's all I want to do. Just want to rabble, rabble, rabble. That's it. Not I'm not asking for a lot. Puts on the bottom of their library. Okay. So that means whatever they got was not good enough. So I think right now, if I just draw another land, perfect. I'm like good on lands now. I am a okay on lands now. If they crack this, that means they have Fatal Push. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at their hand. They've got Jace, Dig Through Time, Inverter of Truth. Prefer that they don't have any of these cards. Drown in the Lock will kill whatever I play, but can't counter anything past that. Alright, so now we pass to them. Alright, so they drew Fabled Passage. They have Fabled, they have Fabled Passage, Drown in the Lock in hand. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I mean, ideally they just don't play anything. Let's go to combat, attack. Or they did not draw the Fabled Passage, that was known information, was it not? Saucy. Well, Sensor is gonna feel real bad here. All right, let's go ahead and pass to them. Let them figure out what they're trying to do here. But if they don't figure it out, I think they might be dead this upcoming turn, to be completely honest. Yeah, actually, they are. They are dead this upcoming turn. Even if they wipe this board clean. Um, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter what they do here, actually. Even if they wipe the board clean, it doesn't matter. It should be GG's. Oh, boy. That is unless, of course, they can win the game right now. I want to draw a land just in the event that they have a sensor, I guess. That's the only thing. But they still need to deal with what's on board right now. Like, they need Languish. I want. They need to use... If they cast Languish, they're dead. If they cast Thought Seize, that... Inverter of Truth. Alright, so they're dead. Very nice. So they found what they were looking for. Alright, unless I accidentally F6 my way through the turns, I should be alive and well. Like, even if Devoider of the Truth or whatever, Inverter of Truth comes in and blocks. Alright, GG's. Alright, all the hand disruption goes in against them. Freak's Libation, Foul Tongue thing, sure. Probably better than a lot of these cards. Like, Fatal Push does nothing. Wild Slash does nothing. Draconic Roar does nothing. Uh, I mean, like, Draconic, Draconic Roar pretty much is like a kinda... <laughs> kind of Lightning Strike. Um, maybe I get rid of that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and run it. Can we get there? We're off to a good start on the play here. Just gotta play around things like Languish and whatnot. 
Now, they what are they bringing out of the sideboard? They probably have Aether Gusts and like some of them play like Dragonlord Silumgar and Bantu's Last Reckoning for some board wipes and stuff like that. But for the most part, I feel like everything is going to just be a bunch of slow slow cards. Yeah, they'll probably have like um what are they going to like yeah, Aether Gusts probably a couple copies, maybe 2 to 3 randomly a few Dragonlord Silumgars here and there. Uh Board sweepers in some way, shape, or form, like either a more languishes, more, you know, like, uh, but I, I mean, it's kind of tough. They're all over the place, to be completely honest. Like, some of them play ultimate price. Eh, it's all over the place. Cast down. I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to hope that I get the jump on them with enough discard and whatnot. And I brought in Farika's Libation because if they have an enchantment, I guess I can make him sack it. I don't know, the omen or something like that, if need be. Most likely won't, but yeah. Because, like, I feel like life totals will not be that relevant here. On the draw against a deck loaded with Thought Seizes, I, I guess I can keep this. Yeah, it has a clock. It's, like, the fastest clock I've got. All right, we have Duress Mana. We can't take any of the combo pieces, like the uh, Inverter or the o Oracle. But maybe we can rip whatever removal spell they might have. Sure. They're probably going to take Rabble Master, as that's the earliest clock we have. I mean, they could take Duress, because that's the next turn play. And if you don't take Duress, then I'm going to rip whatever answers you do have. All right, cool. All right, get Mutavolt. Pass. We need another red source. We need two red sources here. Oh, boy. I am curious what we're going to do here. Do they have the Inverter? I'm going to just force them to censor this. I need to draw a second red source really bad. If I do not draw that second red source, I am going to be in trouble. Okay. They said no to that one damage. Very interesting. Inverter of truth. Okay. Looks like we're dead. Yeah, we're super dead. I mean, we'll try it. Like, they would not have played the inverter unless they had it, right? That's pretty good. Yep, GG's. You got it. All right. What are we looking at here? I'll go for another Draconic Roar here. Feels like it, it can be decent. At least it can make them, uh, it can blow up the, uh, the Oracle. Because in that exact situation, I can try to board, uh, like, remove it with the ETB on the stack. They had one card. It had to be equal to. So, yeah, they had no other devotion. All right, I'll take the play. We have no hand disruption, but you know what? That's fine. I'm going to lead off with uh, Mutavolt here. So then next turn, I can immediately start punching them. Yep, they get to opt here. What did they What did they do with that opt? Puts one card on the bottom of their library, so it wasn't what they were looking for. They're either thought seizing me or thought erasuring me. It's one of those. All right, the Rabble Man is down. All right, we'll pass back to the opponent. They're down to 14. Fabled Passage, that's going to be a problem. Okay. They crack the fetch land. They can go ahead. This is interesting. I want this to resolve. Yeah, this gives me the, ramp, the acceleration I need. If it gets censored, it gets censored. Send that at them. Okay. All right. So let's see here. What do they have? What do they have? What do they have? Like, I need them to not actually have the combo here, which is the concern. Because it seems like they probably do. They did all this at the end of my turn, so they can go ahead and untap. Yeah, oh, jeez, that's such a problem. Maybe I should have kept that. That was a bit loose. I could probably just plus gotten the same amount of damage, right? Because now they have actually no reason to... Like, they just play Inverter and then win the game. Because at least before, I could have shot it down, got in for some damage. I mean, I could also hope they just don't have a fourth mana. But that seems unlikely. They could put two cards on the bottom. Oh, boy. So what are they going to do on their main phase now? I want to get the Thunderbreak Regent on board. And still apply damage here. So they do have it. Or at least the fourth mana. Let me think here. Oh, boy. Come on, deck. Put one card at the bottom. They're scrying. 
They're scrying pretty hard, actually. Uh, let's see. Got one damage in on that, so... Inverter. Yep, there it is. How do I win now? Oh, boy. Let me think here. What is my out? Yep. So do they have the win here? They have four cards left in their deck. They have six cards in hand. Watery Grave. Jace Mill themselves. Am I dead? Oh, jeez. So close. GG's. GG's. So close. Almost got there. Well, that concludes our league at 4-1. and one. I think our last matchup, we could have been maybe a little bit more aggressive. Instead of playing the Rabble Master, we could have probably been dashing in Coligan, the Storm's Fury, uh, and trying for that. But I was really trying to just set it up to where we could just have, like, a real lethal, right? Uh, and, I mean, like, playing Thunderbreak Regent is fine, I guess. I was waiting for a Languish or something, but, uh, yeah, maybe maybe I could have gotten way more aggressive with it. Uh, it was way too lax, so I think that's what lost me Game 3. Uh, but, nonetheless, I feel like our matchup against Blue Black Inverter, it, we're just aggressive enough to where Inverter does have some problems uh, with dealing with our stuff. And considering that nothing of ours really, like, dies to Fatal Push without them triggering Revolt. So they gotta pop their Omens, they gotta crack their Fabled Passages, and things like that. And that's all, and that's just counting every, like, the Thunderbreak, the Rabbles, and the Bonecrusher Giants. That does not count our Storm Breaths, our Coligan, Storm's Fury, our Sarkon, the Masterless. Um, I think maybe out of the sideboard, I could just play another Sarkon, the Masterless, and... Because I, I wanted Fireblood to kind of ramp and I and I and like maybe loot, but I realize now that might be a little too cute, right? Uh, and then other than that, I did really like Agonizing Remorse, and I can't help but wonder if those two duress could just be the full play set of Agonizing Remorse. Because as you saw, and as I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, blue black inverter is everywhere, so I want to be able to rip key parts of their pe like their deck up and exile it, right? So Agonizing Remorse probably might be the perfect thing for that. Uh, and just also good in some other matchups too. Uh, so maybe I'll look to that. And I'm wondering if there's room for something like Glorybringer in this deck, which is, I know, another 5-mana dragon, which I don't know if we can afford. But it is nice to have a dragon that is also removal. Uh, so maybe I'll add some Glorybringers to this. Add another Sarkon the Masterless over like Chandra, or maybe keep Chandra, and then just move that Sarkon the Masterless into the sideboard instead of Sarkon Fireblood, as I'd mentioned. Uh, other than that, I really did like the deck. Uh, Ritual of Soot was, we didn't draw it, but I assume it would have been great in the matchups, um, like, like that we wanted them for, like Mono Green. Maybe not so much against Mono Black, as they have a ton of recursion, but, uh, luckily against Mono Black, even though we kind of weren't paying attention to the fact that they had an Urborg, we'll just ignore that part, uh, it was still solid, although it'd be nice to have something like Cry the Carnarium, so, uh, well, yeah, I like the deck. It's pretty powerful, and it's perfect right now with where the meta is, and if everyone's playing, kind of just trying to, like, do their inverter combo thing, it's still hard for them to load their deck up with a ton of, like, solid answers against our deck. So, thank you so much for watching another episode of Pioneer Peak. You know, it was unfortunate I couldn't bring home the trophy this time, but, you know, maybe next time. And once again, thank you for watching all the content we make here on mtggoldfish.com. And as always, if you like what we make here, leave a like and a sub. Hit that bell icon if you want to be, when you, like, that way you can be notified when a brand new video comes up. And as always, uh, thank you so much, everybody, for coming out and checking out my Twitch channel when you guys, uh, like, I, I've seen a ton of you come by, hang out in the channel, say hi. It means the world to me when you do. Uh, and when you do, definitely just keep doing what it, what you've been doing and just saying hi, saying, hey, this is my like first time here and you know i always love hearing this you know that i've you, you've been finding my channel through the youtube content so uh and as always you know it just keep playing magic keep having fun and we'll, we'll have to see if we can uh defeat the blue black inverter menace next time on that thanks for watching as always your friendly neighborhood asian avenger signing out and i'll see you at the next one Peace. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.